Since I was a young child, I've been an artist at heart. Um, I remember setting up a studio in my basement as a kid and just doing all kinds of you know, weird art experiments. That's always been a passion of mine. I really see myself as a mixed media artist. And I think that's the way of the world, where people are demanded to be so multidimensional in all facets of work. I can do sculpture, I can do photography, I can paint. Um, and I have the most fun when I bring all these things together, which is what my work at uh, The Quiet Rebuild at Harcourt House is all about. So my inspiration for The Quiet Rebuild originated with um, the death of my son back in 2010. He passed away from a cardiac tumor just moments after he was born, and it was the fundamentally defining moment of my life. So when I became pregnant with my third child, Eden, I realized, you know, I need to find healing. I need to see what that looks like for me. And so that's when I got back into my artwork, and it was one of the most amazing experiences because it became a tool that could express the inexpressible parts of myself, the parts that I couldn't understand on my own. One thing that I have quite a bit of in my artwork is Jenga blocks. And the reason that I decided to incorporate Jenga is, you know, you build the tower up and the idea is to get higher and higher and then it eventually crumbles. And the whole, you know, mission is to build it up again and see how high you can go. So I find a lot of encouragement from Jenga. <laughs> you can, you know, get knocked down in life, but just keep building up and, and just try again. And so that's really what I want people to take away from my show.